The Thanksgiving ceremony of Kaweri County MP Francis Zindula Gonasa attracted leaders from both the opposition and ruling party. The president of opposition forum for democratic change, Major General Mugisha Muntu, won the government and NRM MPs against trying to amend the constitution to remove the presidential age limit currently set at 75 years. Now, when when it comes to the fight, fight in, in parliament, parliament let, let it not be done on a partisan, partisan basis. basis. Those, those who are, are in the movement, in any case, case you are the majority. majority. Those, those who are, are firm, who tell people, people that, that you believe in their, their interests, stand those that amendment. If, if you don't, don't you are just simply prepared for, for yourself, not, not for the people. people. In a phone interview, the deputy government spokesperson, Kano Shaban Bantariza, however, said there was nothing wrong with amending the constitution as long as it's done lawfully. Yeah, you free to say what you want, but the point is, the substantial point is, the age limit or any provision of the constitution will be amended in the way it was established, because the constitution is not written in stone. The, the public is addressing mm. is the same public that failed to elect his candidate president. The leader of opposition in the 10th parliament, Winnie Kiza, revealed that the opposition would challenge any legislation in parliament that they deem unfair for the people. But the laws affect all of us. Whether you are in the NRM or you are in the FDC, those bad laws the Minister for State for Local Government and NRM Party member who attended the function asked politicians who left the ruling party NRM for the FDC to return to the fold, saying that they would be welcomed back by President Hiram Seven. Harry Marx, however, drew sharp criticism from the former leader of opposition in Parliament and Budadiri West MP Nandala Mafabi. <laughs> The issue of presidential age limits is a contentious one. Last week, 24 women activists were arrested and later released without a charge as they met to hold demonstration against any amendments. The Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadago on Wednesday, also suspended a debate on the extension of the retirement age of judges, preferring instead for an introduction of a bill on all constitutional amendments. Some members of Parliament applauded her decision, as some argued that the bill proposed by the Nachifuma MP Robert Kafero was an attempt to smuggle in amendments to remove the presidential age limit. This is the one you can wear.